Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video is going to be a makeup video and you guys this is very like long time it's almost like two months that i haven't do a um, makeup video and i'm really excited to do this for you guys so today is going to be an easy fall makeup look and it is kind of like a look that you can bring it outside not only in front of the camera i'm going to include all the products that i use for this look and also in this video i'm going to show you guys how i end up with this look so it is not really like full glam glam and it's just enough for us to go outside and not everybody are looking at you for having heavy makeup right so let's go and start this video for you guys to see how i end up with this fall makeup, makeup. Look. so to start this makeup i'm going to just fix my hair a little bit so it's easy for me to put the makeup so my hair is not all over my face so now let's start with the primer this is tone adjusting face primer from L. This is green color and it's like pretty interesting. I found this in the clearance section um, at Kohl's store. This is my first time to try this one. Okay. Oops. I didn't have anything in my face right now except for moisturizer because it's too early. I usually put sunblock in the morning but I forgot so guys don't forget to put sunblock every day because that is going to help your skin a lot if you are trying to prevent aging or you know wrinkles all right this is really good this is very soft tone adjusting face primer let's move on to my foundation I usually do foundation first before I put my eyeshadow because that is my routine <laughs> all right so for the foundation i'm going to use this maybelline um 24 hours uh what is this full coverage so i'm going to use two tones and i will mix it together just to kind of achieve my skin tone all right so the the first one the lighter one is 220 shade and then the darker one is 330 shade all right let's do that i sometimes tend to put a lot of like white shades and the brown shade it depends on my kind of skin color because sometimes i you know go for swimming or stay in the sun for a while and it makes my skin really dark or really like you know brown that's why i mixed two tone to match my skin color every time i love this foundation because it really like give you full coverage i have like a lot of um kind of score from acne and this foundation really cover it look at that and i also love how it gives you like kind of matte a finish but it's not like super matte like almost dry no it's not like that it is like more unnatural skin so this mixture that i did is kind of like looks a little bit darker on my skin but i love it it looks really tan okay so this look that we are going to do is like what i said it is like fall look quick easy fall look it's very simple i hope so it's gonna end up to be like a simple glam but usually i really do makeup i add more and more glitters but for today's look i am going to try to really like make it a very simple fall look that you can always wear outside or going outside or see your friends that is not going to be like a lot of people is going to stare at you because you have like heavy makeup in your face so i kind of removed my uh, makeup trolley here and i just i bought five of this in a what do you call that ikea and now i try to use this for like makeup every time i go to my studio i'm going to use this and just put the makeup that i'm going to use for that look for my concealer i'm going to use this covergirl true blend undercover it is really light one of my concealer that i really love to use is the neutrogena i'm really obsessed with neutrogena project pro product right now because i like how like they incorporate in their product the anti-aging uh, product the hydrating uh, product and i know that in some of their makeup some they have it so i feel like you know we need that or i need that instead of putting just makeup why not put makeup with anti-aging or hydrating booster or you know kind of things that can help our skin especially with their 
moisturizing SPF that is tinted that I don't have to put foundation. So I use that a lot. Really in a brighter side of CoverGirl. So don't worry about that. It will be gone later with your bronzer for sure. How's your pandemic days going? I know there's like this Delta thing going on right now. And our kids are in school. And uh, know, a lot of us are really like paranoid what's gonna happen, but Lord willing, nothing's gonna happen. They're gonna stay healthy. So I pray every single day because my son is now starting school and we're really worried, but I know that he needs that for socialization to learn more than inside here stuck in our house. And uh, we saw the effect of that with him. So it's not really good for kids. All right, so now I'm going to do my bronzer. I'm going to use this Fit Me Maybelline New York Matte Plus Poreless 360. This kind of powder. I'm trying to figure out what's the best bronzer, if it's the liquid or the stick one or the powder one. For now, what I notice is powder is easy to control. This is going to be different for me. Um, because I never do this in my videos, but now I'm going to use, I'm going to put like a little highlights here before I do my eyeshadow. I don't know how it is going to be, but I kind of like try to experiment. So for that, I'm going to use Rare Beauty, the luminizer. <laughs> Usually they use this for chicks. It's a, you know, luminizer. I kind of try to use this as a primer, eye primer. It's really like soft. <laughs> And I love how it gives glow. So let it sit there for a few seconds to just kind of like let it dry. And for the eyeshadow, I am going to use this. This is actually new. I bought this um, last week. This is Revolution Makeup London. And this is more on fall uh, shades, like more brownish and light brown. And there's a little bit of glitters. But yeah, I think I'm going to use this a lot. By the way, I'm using my Chic. I always forgot what's the brand of that contact lens. Okay, uh, for my contact lens, I'm using just for Kira. I just can't remember the name of their their brand, but I love the contact lenses. I use this a lot for my kind of photo shoot on my um, Like to Know It. If you guys want to visit my Like to Know It shop, I am Grisel Like to Know It, and you can also see that on my. Uh, Instagram. Alright, so for the eyeshadow, I think I'm going to play with the shade of the dark brown and the light and I think I'm going to put a little bit of glitters. Let's see what it's going to look like. Like what I said, I don't want to be like too too um, glam for this look. I tried to do the one, two, three um, eyeshadow again. Um, I'm following an ad on TikTok because they have a new version of that. Sometimes it's like TikTok will kind of deceive you how to do it, you know. They're trying to tell you it's easy but it needs more practice. And I'm seeing a lot of makeup video on Instagram too. I don't know, like is YouTuber shifting to TikTok and Instagram now or do you guys still want to stay in YouTube? Because I know there's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, competition. I mean a lot of the makeup videos, a lot of kind of lifestyle videos in YouTube now. I'm not sure if you guys want to stay here, but if you like or love what you're doing, just continue doing it. You can actually do it in your Instagram or TikTok or YouTube. Why not? Or even Facebook, right? I'm trying to kind of make my life to know it a little bit professional looking photo and I do it myself, you know, like I edit it, I do it. It's just this those photo shoot I really love that doing because that's my passion. I love dressing up. I love um, putting clothes on together. So every time someone asks me like, like why are you doing that? Like it's really time consuming. You know, like I find time for that. I know I'm busy with my kids, especially with my little one. But if you love what you're doing, I mean, you find time to do things because nobody gonna give shit. I mean, nobody gonna give time, you know? Like, you have to find time for yourself. But you know what? Like, as mom, I realize now that your time is really like limited for doing stuff for yourself. You really have to do something. Either you ask your husband to take care of your kids for a little bit so you can do your stuff 
or we just hire nanny. We don't have that option here, okay? For my lower lid, I'm going to do the same shade. And also, um, if you do, like I'm going back to the topic I'm trying to tell you guys earlier. So if you like do this like fashion thing, makeup thing, videos, we always tend to copy others. Like, oh, they're doing better, so I'm going to copy them. I mean, it is not bad to do that, but for me, um, you're gonna get tired of it. Do you want to do that all the time? Like who that what's trending like oh, he's doing this or she's doing this So I have to do that so they can not as my video too, but for me like That's not yours. That's not your style. That's not what you love to do You're doing this because you love to do this You're doing video because you love to do video You're doing makeup because you love to do makeup or dancing because you love to do dancing or dressing up because you love to do dressing up you want to show the world your style and your fashion but if you were going to copy what others are doing so what's the point of doing that right how much you really want to earn money and be popular and something like that who would want who doesn't want that but at the end of the day you're gonna get tired of it if that's not what you want to do so just kind of slow down think a little bit um if your youtube channel is not really doing well mine is not a big channel i only have like i think a hundred a thousand five hundred subscribers but i make sure that the po the video that i posted is like the video that i want to do the makeup video that i want to do the vlog that i want to do i learned from my past videos that i did that but it doesn't make me feel better like it doesn't give me anything it i feel like i'm copying someone you know like it doesn't it doesn't gonna make you happy and even in fashion that's how it is too like I don't want to copy others style if you post on Instagram you copy um, others fashion or other things um, that is like kind of what are you giving to your viewers or your to your followers if that thing or if that style they already saw it somewhere right so give them something like your yourself give them your style um, show it to them maybe they will appreciate it or if they're not okay that's all right this is my style it's your opinion that's how it is like that's how I feel um, if they appreciate it well I'm gonna be happy I'm so I'm gonna be glad for sure but if they don't that's okay you know could keep continue doing it sometimes I'm like tempted to do that again but every time I, I kind of remind myself like I have to stop that like it doesn't it's not gonna give me anything all right so I think for the top I'm going to just kind of use this literary I actually only use one two three four shades for this let me fix my eyebrow let's make it longer all the things that I said guys is just my opinion do what makes you happy um at the end of the day I mean it's you, you know, that's your decision. Like, are you guys getting ready for fall? Do you have fall decorations in your house? I'm trying to find, I think I'm going to Hobby Lobby to kind of, you know, buy something for fall. Make it a little bit exciting. My husband keeps telling me, oh my God, we're always in our house. And I'm like, I can't, we can't risk it, you know, I can't go anywhere. I really want to go to like Waco because you know chief and juan is our favorite fixer upper we always end up asking ourselves do you want to risk it it's not easy it's not easy to decide for things especially if you have kids i know guys that um people are quitting youtube now there's a um one couple that i subscribe to and they all of a sudden they deleted their account and they all they have like 10 million subscribers they just decided to do it i think just to save their relationship like it is surprising that sometimes social media or i think majority of the time social media ruin relationships so if you don't have really strong foundation i mean be careful you know your watcher your subscribers your comments and everything it can ruin everything in your life probably that's why when i um, kind of watch this interview with Bella Porch. She have this rule that she will only read uh, two or three comments and then that's it. That she will not read anything anymore. Of course, I'm going to fix my um, eyebrow. Key light in Tagalog. Tagalog is a Filipino language. Sometimes I talk Tagalog in my video not knowing that I talk Tagalog with my husband too and he's like what are you saying? <laughs> Even my son. My son is very talkative now. So every time I talk to him Tagalog, 
What are you talking about, mommy? <laughs> it is funny how he gotta like start, you know, conversation and asking questions nonstop. Why? 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 And I'm like tired of explaining why. <laughs> because I said so. For the lashes, I'm going to use this iconic uh, 3D from Profusion Cosmetics. So, yeah. Very, very cheap lashes. I mean, not cheap, cheap, but it's very affordable. It's, I think, the right term affordable lashes. But it's going to give you nice looking glam or a nice looking look <laughs> okay nice looking lashes man is it so hard like now we're always inside our house right and every time we go outside we're wearing masks sometimes i don't put makeup anymore <laughs> i just do my eyelashes and that's it or my eyebrow oh my god that's, that's it i'm done like, nobody's gonna see it nobody's gonna know they're gonna know nobody's gonna know <laughs> that's my husband's favorite joke that's quick sometimes it takes forever to put lashes i mean false lashes i don't know what are they doing downstairs but my little girl is with daddy right now and hopefully they're just playing and not ruining things there all right so we're done with the eyeshadow so now let's move on to the blush on i'm going to use a liquid blush it is very very tinted but let's see so I tried to like make it like a little bit darker in this side here and then just move it um, in the middle to make like to get that color, the very light color in this area. Let's move on to the highlight. So do you guys want to use this <laughs> or this one? Which one? Hmm. Okay, so I think since I used a uh, liquid uh, blush on, I'm going to use the liquid highlighter during pandemic there's a lot of like youtuber that really like get popular but i think now that people are coming back to work views now on their videos are like half of the views that they were getting during pandemic for sure it's really affecting their their income so that being said don't you just drop your work or resign from your work just to do YouTube or your social media because you never know what's gonna happen. Yeah, anything can happen. I watched this YouTuber that resigned from her like work and uh, she I think have like 200,000 subscribers and her video she said that that um, why YouTube is not kind of uh, promoting her video or it is not showing to her subscribers because she um kind of having a thousand views out of like 200k subscribers every videos that she uploaded is like only 1000 or 1500 or blah 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 so something like that and then she is trying to tell everyone that i dropped my job kind of focus on my youtube and this is what can happen it sounds like she's blaming youtube but at the end of the day you are the one that decided it um you you know like you jump into that so it's the consequences so you have to take the consequences right so i think just don't drop your job you have your day time job that's going to feed you and going to give you a stable like life or paying your bills and youtube or your other social media account you can use that as for like sideline if it gives you um returns right as my husband always asks me why do you have to do that to your nose and i'm like um that's part of makeup thing. one time he told me that you look like avatar because <laughs> you know avatar they have like got a um line on their nose it's funny how he said that and he remembered that movie it was a long time ago i was in high school the thinner lips you have the prettier you are but now the bigger lips you have the prettier you are oh my goodness see how world and beauty change i think it started with angelina she has like this bigger pouty lip and everybody wants to copy it all right guys so for the final step i am going to use this glass shimmer from her evolution all right guys so this is the finished look for our easy fall makeup look today and this is my little showdown for this look Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys like it and enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys um, enjoy my content and for more videos of course. I hope to see you guys in my next video and please stay safe and God bless you all.